This is the TCAP 7th grade math practice test. This is question number 9. It said which point best represents the location of the cube root of 100 on the number line. Now pay very close attention when you have this type of question. You should see that there is a 3 right there. Um, if it was a square root, obviously it would be 10, but this doesn't even go anywhere near 10. So we're going to have to find out how to do a cube root. Now if you're using the same calculator that I'm using, which is the TI-30X, 2s. If you have a different calculator and you have a question, just say, hey, can you show me this on, I can do a T83, 84, um, 73, and a few others. And I'll try to get my hands on it for you. But as long as you're using this one, shouldn't be a problem. Now, to do cube roots on here, it's a little weird. That it doesn't have uh, easily findable buttons that you can get to. So what you have to do is use this one right here. It's the one over the caret. It has an X and it looks like a little bit of a, a root symbol there. So what this means is the X represents the root itself, so you need to put that number first, then hit this button, and then hit what's inside the root. So we're going to do the cube root, so the third root. So I'm going to hit three first to represent that. Now I'm going to hit second to get into the yellow buttons, and I'm going to hit this one right here, the one above the caret. It should say X, have a little root thingy there. So I'm going to hit that, looks like this. Then I'm going to type in the number itself, which is 100 and I get 4.64. So I'm going to write that down. And you can just break it off at a certain point. Now, I'm going to look for numbers that are greater than 4, but less than 5, obviously. So it's not going to be W. That's between 2 and 3. That makes no sense. X isn't all the way up to 4 yet. If this was negative, yeah, it would, it would be on that side of the 4, but it's not here. So I'm picking between Y and Z. So what I need to do is sort of break out this 4, 5 stuff to think about where 4.6 is going to be located. And I'm going to do it by writing the tens down. 4 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 0.8, and 0.9. Now, 4.6 is right here. As you can see, that's about that's a little more than halfway between 4 and 5. So y can't be the answer because it's really close to 4. So my answer is that z is the closest to that number on the number line. So I'm going to pick d to match with z. By the way, it's kind of a big deal that you make sure you mark the right one because this problem really isn't that difficult, but it would stink if you said d and then you thought you said c in your head. Or you, you said z, I'm sorry, and you thought you said c. Just make sure that you match it up. And if you circle the letter, it's much easier to come back over here and pick the right one. So that's it.